Yeah. Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another interview with uh, another very special person, Sai Raj. Uh, he is currently pursuing his uh, master's in computer science from Cal Poly Pomona. Uh, now, a lot of you might not have heard about this university, uh, but in this video, we are going to deep dive into all aspects of this university. But before we start with that, uh, would love to hear from you, uh, Sai Raj. Yeah. So, hi everyone. My name is Saira Zado and I'm from Pune and I did my bachelor's in engineering from Pune and I'm currently pursuing my computer science master's degree and here at Cal Poly Pomona. That is great. Yeah. Yeah, so, I'd love to answer all of your questions so <laughs> to get a great idea of the university. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and thank you for taking out time. Uh, you know, uh, I know you might have finals going on. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to be going through this pretty quick. Uh, so let's get started. Let's get started with the first question. Uh, and this is a All question right. that generally I ask uh, to everyone, which is how has been your experience so far with pursuing masters in uh, Cal Poly Pomona? And if you have to give top three things mm -hmm. which you really love about this university, uh, what would those be? Okay, so this is my second semester at Cal Poly. I started at uh, fall semester last year. And so far, the experience has been so great. Uh, uh, I spent the first uh, semester online, uh, but now this semester, they started the in-person classes. So I get to experience the classes and everything. So it's really great that the campus environment and everything is uh, uplifting. So it's good to be here. And for the three things, I would say first thing is like uh, the ranking. So like when I research about this university, they had a pretty good rankings on paper. So yeah, and I, when I came here, I got to know about that from all the people. And then I met some alumni here and they were uh, doing pretty good. So they told that like my field is pretty good over here and they have a lot of network. Next thing is uh, being a CSU, it's uh, pretty affordable. So okay. it's a good thing about the university because I, I just look for uh, universities in my budget. So most of them were CSU. So, and this one is really affordable. So that's the best part. And third thing I would say, <laughs> it's a bit odd, but the location is really great. Like uh, it's, it's situated in a like uh, scenic beauty around. So. Whenever I get up, <laughs> I just look around. It's, it's pretty good. Like, it's motivating every day. That is great. Uh, well, that is great. Um, and I think uh, you do have major cities also close to you, right? Uh, um, yeah. I guess LA and San Diego should be closer. Yeah, like LA, you can get there in like uh, 40 to 50 minutes. And San Diego, actually, I've been there twice. So it's like a two-hour drive. Right. It's really great. Yeah. And Irvine is close to like it, it's getting new tech companies. So yeah, that's pretty close too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, uh, yeah, and, and I think that is that is a good advantage that you have that, uh, you know, if you have these uh, big, big cities around you, uh, which yeah. have a lot of jobs, that really helps. Uh, uh, but uh, moving on to the first question uh, or yes. the second question, actually. Uh, is uh, uh, how's how's your uh, total expenses uh, and if you have to split it in in terms of uh, your living expenses and your tuition fees how much that comes around for two years okay so the tuition fee for two years would be around uh, 35,000 mm -hmm. uh, because uh, for a semester it's like 7.5k uh, and uh, for living expenses I actually live on campus so I uh, pay like a thousand dollars rent per month, mm -hmm. but it, they have all the facilities included. Like I don't have to pay anything extra. So it's a good thing. Uh, and for the other expenses like food and everything. So just like 300 to $400 per month. So I would say like uh, 35,000 tuition fees and for two years, like uh, almost 30,000. For living expenses got it if you're, got if you're it. living on campus because mm -hmm. you live outside it will be pretty cheap mm -hmm. and i think um, 
and my understanding is that most of the times uh, living on campus is a little bit expensive yeah uh, so definitely if you are living off campus uh, your expenses will be i feel it should be 50% of what you have right yeah. now yeah yeah it, uh, i i checked apartments nearby and they're like literally 50% less than that yeah uh, but i actually chose to live on campus because it's easy to commute so yeah yeah so, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so about sixty sixty five thousand dollars is what for yeah. two years. Yeah. Right okay. now, uh, moving on, moving on uh, in terms of how we can pay for this uh, expenses, right? So, are there on campus jobs available? Uh, if so, what are some of the tricks to get them? Uh, <laughs> and the part B of the question is: uh, uh, Do you have uh, do you have the policy to uh, you know uh, get some part of your tuition fee waived off if you get TARA? those kind of jobs okay uh, so like when i got here i looked at there are two main organization on campus uh, which provide on campus job for students and there are a lot of jobs like uh, last semester it was offline still i got a job on campus and the, like everyone who i know who came here got a job in like 2 uh, 3 weeks so it's pretty easy to get a job on campus and and for the tuition fees like i asked them if i get a ta or ra because i got the ra last semester so is there any chance to lower like uh, is there any off on the fees or something but they said like it's pretty hard because the, the fees are already very low so there are still some options for scholarships for international students but the chances are very low because as the fees are already uh, affordable so Mm-hmm. But yeah, you, there's a website or for it you can look on the that if you are eligible for any scholarships. But uh, I don't think they have any for the RA or TA. Got it, got it. And yeah. how much is the pay? Like, uh, uh, if if someone is working for let's say twenty hours, uh, how much they can make in a month uh, of working on campus? uh yeah like if you are working uh, in like dining or something then they pay 15 dollar an hour uh, and for the ra like i get a pay for like 17 dollar per hour so yeah but uh, the thing is the hours would be more if you work like at the shop like dining or something mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because ra and ta have a limited hours like mm-hmm. it won't complete your 20 hours a week right 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 um, and dining would have a continuous jobs uh, because yeah they have continuous jobs yeah, yeah. like they, they require a lot of people so yeah they <laughs> constantly hiring yeah 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 uh, uh, do you have any indian student organizations on campus uh, yeah we do have a student organization like uh, actually it's run by the people over here like i knew them last semester mm-hmm. yeah yeah, it's pretty good. Like they organize events and everything. Like they're coming back due to the COVID. Like you know, it's, yeah. it's growing now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is great. That is great. Now moving on to the next uh, aspect of uh, masters, which is curriculum. So, uh, how's your uh, experience with the curriculum so far? What is your take? Is it good enough to, uh, you know, prepare people for the industry? You know. Uh, and if you have to give like top three or four subjects, which everyone must take in computer science department, uh, 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 how would you share about that? Okay. Uh, so like when I looked it up, when I was applying here, so I, I found out that there are just four core subjects that you need to compete. And there are like more than 32 electives to choose from. So it's pretty flexible. And so I took the generalized uh, computer science course and when I got here so I uh, like talked to professor and everything so they helped me choose subjects like now I am specializing in computer vision so my project is also based on that so mm-hmm. like uh, he, he helped me out like choosing the subjects so yeah like the the core subjects are like the advanced software engineering algorithms and uh, the computer architecture and like you can you can choose any electives you want there are a lot of fields got it got it and uh, even the professors are good like uh, are they coming from industry do you have professors who work in industry as well and then teach as well yeah yeah they uh, like 
uh, there are many professor who are like uh, doing research in uh, from for the college and like their research work is pretty good like uh, it's it's like they i work under a professor like he published a lot of papers and everything and there are also professor who work uh, in the who have already worked for like 30 35 years in the industry and then came here to teach so yeah that's that's complete different experience so. got it got it yeah um uh, well that's great that helps because you know one of the concerns we generally people have is uh will this really help me you know yeah. prepare for the industry because a lot of people have that as a goal to work yeah. in the industry here right uh, uh but uh, let's move on let's move on uh, to the job aspect of it like the internships and full time so how how has been your experience so far with you know uh, uh, your seniors or your batch are people getting internship are people getting full time jobs if so where are they getting those jobs uh and uh what are some of the things that they're doing to get those jobs yeah uh i i spoke with uh like couple of seniors here who were from india and like now they are working for big companies like uh amazon but in the other states so mm-hmm. like they said like the network uh, network is pretty good the university's network is like really good and the two major fields which are uh, like pretty famous over here are the aerospace and the computer science mm-hmm. so they were like you to you choose the field it's it's pretty good like you, you'll have a lot of opportunities and uh, the, for the internships like uh, there are many portals they like the campus helps students to get the jobs like handshake and everything so yeah i i'm applying for the summer internships too i'm trying to but yeah i know a few people who got internships in pretty decent companies over here mm-hmm. yeah That's that is good. yeah that is great that is great well uh, you know that brings us to the last question uh, for this interview which is let's say if someone has finalized cal poly pomona for fall you know uh, yeah. what would be your top 3 uh, tips for those people uh top three tips would be like you know uh when when i came here i struggled with uh, two main things like time management and organization skills because it's very different back in india and over here so i would say that focus on those skills too like those are pretty important for growing and <laughs> you like you have to do everything on your own here so you need to learn cooking and everything so do the yeah. do your chores and everything and yeah the people over here will help you everything to complete with your degree project and jobs so yeah keep connecting with people yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know networking always helps you know if yeah. you are uh, if you are connected to some people that really helps either to get their mentorship or you know uh, eventually get help in terms of applying uh, or getting a referral in the company that they are working so yeah yeah that definitely helps uh, but uh, that wraps up our interview mm-hmm. uh, thank you so much for taking out time uh, and guys if you uh, 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 let us know whatever the best tip that you learned from this video in the comment section below uh, and i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for having me too and if anyone has any questions like they can connect me on linkedin yeah i'm going uh, to put I'm the to <laughs> i'm going to put the link to your uh, linkedin profile in the description section below so yeah uh, definitely yeah. expect some people reaching out to you <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay all right, all right. Uh, yeah. with that talk to you guys soon